two lenders have increased their rates. Yesterday, Virgin Money announced increases to their product range. And literally 20 minutes ago, Halifax have just confirmed that there's going to be some increases on their product range as well. So here you can see the email that I received yesterday from Virgin Money. Here, look, we're making some changes. We just wanted to let you know that we're making changes to the following Virgin Money products at 8 p.m. on Tuesday, 27 February. So 85% loan to value purchase is increases. As you can see here, look, increase existing custom product ranges increases. So this was from Halifax at 201 today. As you can see, look, new products coming up on the 1st of March. Rate increases on two and five year fixed rate products up to 0.18%. Rate increases on selected two year fixed rate products up to 0.29% on remortgages. And it's a few rate reductions here as well. But look, here you go again, rate increases on fixed rate products. So generally you get the gist of it rates are increasing on the majority of the products. So what you saw there were emails that as a mortgage broker, we get them usually within 24 to 48 hours in advance of lenders increasing their rates. Now, as of today, what we're seeing is lenders sometimes are emailing brokers like myself at three o'clock and saying, if you don't submit the full mortgage application by eight o'clock tonight, your client won't benefit from the current product range and we'll have to submit the application the next day on a higher product rate, which of course, is not beneficial for my clients or you. As you can see here, the two year swap rate on the 29th of January 2024 was 4.219%. This has increased to 4.531% on the 26th of Feb. The three year has gone up from 3.933% to 4.281%. The five year has gone up from 3.674% to 3.993% and so on. As you can see from this table, they've increased. So what you're seeing here is lenders reacting to the swap rates increasing. So what they have to do is if the swap rates are increasing, because this is what they borrow money against, they have to reprice their products for the product rates being offered to yourself because ultimately they need to make a margin which is a profit on the products being offered to you so if they're borrowing at a higher level they need to pass on the a slight cost to the customer the consumer which is yourselves and the rates will be higher offered to yourself at that time now you saw some rate reductions there so not always is it because the swap rates are higher that lenders are increasing their product range there are instances where lenders will increase their rates on purpose because they just have too much business coming in. So to manage workflows and service levels, they increase their rates. So brokers or applicants like yourself are not going direct and submitting applications to them to manage the workflow. But in theory, the majority of lenders do go by the swap rates table. And if the swap rates are higher, they have to reprice their products accordingly, as you've seen with Halifax and Virgin Money, who have announced rate increases over today and yesterday. So I wanna hear what your views are on the rates increasing. If you are a person who is looking to move or buy their first home, are you still going to be looking at properties? Are you still going to be making offers and the rates are not going to affect what you're looking to do because you just want to get on the property ladder? Or are you one of those people who are still waiting for rates to come down even further before you actually look to move into the property game and put your foot into the property ladder? And if you are looking for rates to come down, how low do you want them to come down? Or how low do you need them to come down before? you're going to make an offer on the property. Let me know in the comments.